Hi everyone. I'm often asked whether you can improve your fiber internet or perhaps your cable or other internet using a pointing antenna for that Wi-Fi hotspot which is inside your room but it could also be inside a business or inside a factory for example and there it becomes more important. And let me first go back to a previous one which says that we always need an internet connection. And in this case we're now talking about one as fiber. Okay, so the fiber comes in as a fiber made in. It's normally called something funny. And then there's Ethernet, so it, it gets the fiber in and decodes all the very, very fast internet that comes in, puts it on Ethernet. And then on this side here, we typically we put Wi-Fi because people no longer like to connect um, with Ethernet. You can actually plug an Ethernet in there, link directly to the fiber. And if you want to see the speed of your fiber, go plug your internet into there and you can get the maximum speed. The problem with everything in life is that you've got a weakest link in the chain. Okay, so sometimes with LTE, the weakest link may be your, your um, modem that has to suck the LTE. And that could often be proved by, say, a pointing antenna. In this case, with fiber, you've got a very consistent speed coming in. But you may find, if you walk around in your house, uh, you bought a package that said 500. I've got a 500 megabit package. And I was very disappointed when I'm getting only 60 or 70 megabits per score. And what? You know, because the modem's here. Sorry? Because now I connect a uh, Wi Fi access. This is pure Wi Fi. This guy will get via this Ethernet port, it will get the internet from the fiber modem. But now it needs to display it to me and my kids and everyone else in the house. Now, um, in this case, I'm showing this one because it actually has a removable Wi Fi. So these two antennas are Wi Fi. The reason why there's two is, oh, sorry, there's three. Let's see, three connectors. Sometimes there's more. It's because of uh, MIMO. So Wi Fi also uses MIMO. So you want to actually use uh, a MIMO antenna. You don't always have to use, say, 3 by 3 MIMO. 2 by 2 MIMO can also do well. Don't worry too much that one connector is left and not working. And if you look inside, you can see these is Wi-Fi connectors because they've got reverse polarity SMA. And so always look if the pin is there in the connector, it's a Wi-Fi connector. Okay, so why can I improve? Because this Wi-Fi here, okay, nothing to do with fiber, works like any form of wireless. If the signal is massive, okay, you get high speed. As the signal goes down, it negotiates, you know, it negotiates with your phone that's connected or your laptop. And if the signal is worse, it has to use lower modulation techniques. And there's many videos on it that we do for LTE. Same thing applies at Wi-Fi. Of course, also there's MIMO story key. Okay? So sometimes it can create more than one path, in which case it can go double the speed, triple the speed. So I did ultimately in my home, um, using a, I think it's the AC or the AX standard of Wi-Fi, I got my 500. I was actually quite amazed. Even the people around me were amazed. Because the weakest link determines the speed. Now, the reason why you can improve it is if you've got a problem with coverage. There's two ways to address the problem. The cheapest way is you put better antennas. These antennas, nothing bad about them, but they're omnidirectional. Now, I find that, for example, where my Wi-Fi is on one side of the house, it's actually better to put a directional antenna. And then you think, but if it's directional, the people that stand just left or right of the thing would not get it. That's a bit, it's not clever thinking. Because they are so close that they don't need much signal, or the signal is very stronger. So remember that signal goes weaker with distance. But you can be out of the main beam of an antenna and be close. You get the same signal. And that principle is used in one of our other um, products, which is called Fiber Point. Okay, so you can remove the antenna connectors, preferably if it's three, you can find yourself a three by three MIMO antenna, pointing as what one as far as I recall. Try to use a cross polarized one because you can see with these ones here, they typically are all linear. And I've often advised people if you just do this with one of them, it actually helps a lot. But uh, if you're going to put a slightly directional, say a 90 degree antenna on, um, then you can find a 3x3 and it's cross polarized. Cross polarized always gives you MIMO. Whereas the, the antenna's just spaced, don't always cope, don't always give you the real MIMO benefit. So you can put these antennas on. So if you've got a house like this, 
you can put on here, a, and this, in this case, you put a, a, a three input antenna, and perhaps you can point it sort of in this direction, sorry. We'll have a beam that will go like this. And remember, these guys will also get it because they're close. Your beam is actually for the guy furthest away. Don't worry too much about the close guys. They're close to Bob, you can be outside of the beam. This could also work in a warehouse, for example. This could also work if you need outdoor coverage, so on your stoop or something like that. You want to also cover your IoT device in your pool, for, for example. Now, that's the one way. The other way is, of course, this router provides you ways to get Ethernet further. So you can also take from the Ethernet port and go to another place, okay, with Ethernet, and then put a second route on. And this perhaps addresses, my case, you want indoor or outdoor, once again, on this side, you may then use pointing antennas to get better coverage. So you can't get everywhere with, for example, if I also want to give coverage to, say this is a factory, something like that, and this is indoor, then I might take out Ethernet, put another router, so, sorry, that's perhaps an open area but where people work, and I put another router here, inside, and I put an antenna on that beams to this direction. Okay, so lots and lots of ways of improving your speed, because you've got the speed, but the weakling is often the Wi-Fi connection and antennas improve that.